Hi, my name is Angela Lemay, and I will be presenting the work Benefits of Linear Conditioning with Metadata for Image Segmentation that was performed by myself, Charles Lecro, Olivier Vincent, and Yao Liu under the supervision of Joseph Paul Cohen and Julien Quenadad. In the context of segmentation task and deep learning, images associated with a segmentation mask are generally used to train a model. But often, especially in medical settings, images are associated with some metadata, such as the type or disease severity, acquisition information like the scanner vendor, or demographic information on the patients. These are usually disregarded and not used for training. In this work, we want to illustrate how including metadata into neural networks can be beneficial, and we suggest a flexible method to integrate this metadata. Recent advances in visual question answering presented film, feature-wise linear modulation, which is a general purpose conditioning method. The key idea is to condition the model to generate an output tailored to the input metadata. We adapt this work to segmentation and tested it on two use cases. First, we wanted to verify if inputting information relevant to the segmentation could help the performance. To do so, we train a model for spinal cord tumor segmentation, and we included the tumor type associated with the patient using film. A second use case, we wanted to train a multi-organ segmentation model using data sets from different sources. Screen and liver segmentations were taken from the medical segmentation decathlon dataset, while kidney segmentations were taken from the KITS19 dataset. Each image has a single organ segmented. If the model were trained simply on the ground truths, the learning would be hampered as there are missing labels in the context of multi-organ segmentation. For example, if the model predicts a segmentation mask where the kidney, liver, and spleen are segmented, but the ground truth contains only a liver segmentation, the model will be penalized for over-segmenting since the spleen and kidneys are not in the ground truth. To enable training with missing segmentations, we can pass as information which organ is present in the ground truth. Hence, the model will predict only the segmentation passed as metadata. This way, the model will learn to segment the different organs even if labels are missing. In order to include the metadata, we slightly modify the unit architecture. Similar modifications can be easily incorporated to other types of architecture. As seen in the classical unit, an image is fed as input to the model, but there's an additional input for metadata. The metadata is one hot encoded into a vector and passed into the film generator, which is a multi-layer perceptron. As output, we get scaling factors gamma and shifting factors beta. Gamma values will be used to multiply each feature map, while beta values will be added to each feature map. In other words, we apply a simple linear transformation dictated by the metadata, which will ultimately modify the final prediction. So let's go over some results. For the spinal cord tumor segmentation task, we had a total of three different tumor types that were used as metadata. The first column presents the results for the model trained with film without the information on the tumor type. When training with the tumor type, the overall segmentation performance improved. The example presented here is a case of an astrocytoma. Astrocytomas, on average, expand from five to six vertebral bodies. In this particular example, where the tumor boundaries are not clear, the model without prior knowledge of the tumor type segmented only the most enhanced part of the tumor on the T2-weighted scan. Astrocytomas are usually larger than the prediction made by the model that didn't have the tumor type knowledge. When knowing the tumor type, the model was able to make a better prediction reflecting the features of this particular tumor. Here are the results for the multi-organ segmentation. The first column presents the result from a regular training on the data set with the missing labels. The low dice scores illustrate the hampered learning caused by the missing labels. When inputting 
Orion type, we reach similar results to training one model per class, which means training three different model as compared to a single model with film. These results are presented in the second and third columns of the table. Using film enable a robust method to train a multi-class model with missing labels. In conclusion, in this work, we showed that including metadata to deep learning models can be beneficial, and we propose a simple and flexible method to include this information. The code is implemented into the open source Evadomed library. For more details on this work, please refer to our paper. Thank you for watching.